Guess which game? Yep, it's Arcanum. Pretty fun game. It's kind of like a cross between Baldur's Gate and Fallout. And in fact, I think it was made by the same people who made Fallout. Um, it's a very fun game. Lots of replayability. Suffers from quite a few bugs, though. So if you don't have um, Drog's patch installed, then you're going to run into a lot of issues. <clears throat> I have Drog's patch installed in this playthrough. Um, even then, it's still got a lot of bugs that are uh, annoying, but they're... You can live through it if you have that patch installed. Um, let's see here. Difficulty is hard, and these are the rest of my settings here. We're going to go ahead and start a new game and pick a new character. The way I'm going to go through this game is I'm going to power game it, basically. I'm going to do everything to where I get the maximum possible stats and run through the game in kind of like uh, the quickest way possible. So that's that's how I like to play, so that's how I'm going to play here. We're going to pick an elf, <clears throat> um, because he gets a bonus to dexterity and willpower. And he also he also can use a certain chainmail, which boosts strength, constitution, dexterity, and beauty all by one. And it's available fairly early. If you know what you're doing. So, for those reasons, I'm going to choose an elf, and then I'm going to choose only child for plus four, or plus, no, sorry, plus six willpower at the cost of minus four charisma and a penalty to persuasion and handle skills. But I don't really need any of those skills the way I'm going to play, so that's like uh, really no downside there. Let's see, let's pick, a, pick something that. That gives the flavor for this game. Yeah. Looks like cocky bastard, so. Alright, and um, I'm actually not going to purchase anything here at the beginning. Uh, because I'm going to be getting my technical aptitude. I'm going to try to pump that up to above uh, 10. And I start with 15 in magical aptitude, so... It's going to take some doing, but how I intend to do that is I intend to pump up repair because that's a useful thing to have. Um, being able to repair items in the field is actually quite useful. So, and why do I want an aptitude, a technological aptitude of 10 temporarily? Well, it's because I need that to recruit, uh, recruit Jaina Styles, and I need her to make some some um, ingredient, some items that I need to make other items. So instead of wasting two points so I can make them myself, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hire her because you know if I if I like pump this up to two, that would be basically wasted. I'd never use this in any other um, situation. So uh, I'm just gonna hire her, and she has two. She can build, make the elixir of physical prowess. And uh, I need a couple of those so I can max out my character, basically. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. But it'll make an interesting game. So, I actually haven't played this game in a little while. I used to play this all the time here. I think this is how I'm going to start out here. Maybe one of these. Maybe this. That looks good. Let's go for it.
do drop a bomb? So it tips over. And somehow I survive. Help. Help me, please. Oh, thank you, my friend. I haven't got much time. <laughs> you must find the boy. Find the boy. And give him back his ring. Now he will know what needs to be done. <laughs> now listen, listen to me. We had to do it. He did unspeakable things to us, and we we had no choice but to do as he said. And there are so few of us left, but the work is almost finished, and then the evil. Oh, I, you can't imagine. He's coming back to destroy everything. Everything and everyone. Now, please, just find the boy. <coughs> Tell him that I escaped. I came back to warn. <coughs> he will know what to do. You, my friend, it's all up to you. Okay, so that's, uh, find the boy and kill everybody. Got it. No problem. It. I mean, you and, and then the Zeppelin and, <clears throat> and the fire. And the altar says that... Do you have any idea what all of this means? You speak! I, I mean, of, of course you speak. What am I, a blathering idiot? Wait, what, what did you say? Maybe I should be writing all of this down. I am at a loss here. I, I, I don't quite know what to do. Uh, I mean, you are the... the oh, of course you are. I mean, you do know who you are, right? Of course you do. What, what, what sort of brainless, half-baked question is that for the... the uh, please, forgive me. I, I'm making a bloody mess of this whole affair. My name is Virgil, sir, and I'm new to the Benari religion. Uh... Your religion, and I... Oh, 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 wait! I, uh, hereby dedicate... No, no, uh... Commit my life to the living one. I, Virgil, am at your service, sir. Listen, sir, I may be new to the Panari, but that doesn't mean that this morning was my first sunrise. Are we clear on that? I can see that you're as muddled about all of this as I am, and I don't appreciate being made a fool of. You keep... Yes, yes, of course. You see, you're him. I, I mean, the, uh, the reincarnation of, uh, uh what's his name? I, I can never remember. And, and I, I'm always getting him mixed up with the other fellow, the, the bad one. You, um, well, you know how all of those old elven names sound the same. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, just give me a moment here. You, you see, the Panari, that's the religion that was formed around the things that he said. I, I mean, that you said. Oh, forget it. Let, let's start at the beginning. Or this beginning, since there is a lot more that came before this. You are the reincarnation of a powerful elf, who the Panari worst... Right. Yes, uh, the name. Uh, wait. I remember something. It is written in the scriptures. The Living One will live again on wings of fire. No, no, no. no. All right, all right, all right. I don't know about the ring, but this business about the Evil One returning... Oh, the ring said, and the fire and the evil Blast one. It all. There's a damned altar around here somewhere. Look on that if you're so bloody smart. Uh, look, I understand this whole thing sounds ridiculous, but let me just accompany you down the mountain to Shrouded Hills. I can introduce you to my mentor, Elder Joachim. He can explain this all better than I can. I'm rather new to this whole Panari thing. The Panari are a religion. 
based on the belief that you will return to destroy evil or or something like that. No, wait. I, th I told you I was new with this. Imagine the way I must feel. Here you are, the chosen one, or living one, and, and I can't even remember who you're supposed to be. Please, just follow me to Shrouded Hills and we'll talk to the Elder Joachim. He's very knowledgeable. The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out. See if it makes any of this any more clear. We should... Okay. <clears throat> well. Sorry you had to suffer through that. I thought maybe somebody... some Someone out there might want to hear that. I don't know how much of this story I'll go through here. Because I'll probably ditch Virgil at some point anyway. Oh, goodness. Kick his ass, man. Kick his ass. Are you blind? What in God? <laughs> I dropped the weapon. Better luck next time. Okay. Well, I guess that reminds me. I better set this thing up here. I'm going to go ahead and give Virgil the sword. Because he really sucks with that staff. <clears throat> you need that camera. And you also, well, be good idea. You don't need this, but it'd be a good idea to get it anyway. That uh, goes to a quest. <clears throat> get him, man! Get him! Okay, Virgil's gonna be my melee character here. I'll have him do the fighting. He's a lot better at it than I am right now. <clears throat> He's useful in the beginning, but later on he gets to be... He really kind of sucks in comparison to the other guys. But I'll keep him around. The reason I don't want to fight is because I have zero in combat skills, so if I fight I'll probably just hurt myself. <clears throat> I'm going in here to take some items here that I need. This is nice. You can sell this. Dynamite is very useful. These, I'm going to need to kill some guys at a bridge. And I could do a quest here, but I'm not going to. Not worth it, in my opinion. He can do a quest with that guy. I'm going to skip it. I just don't feel like it. Come some doggies. Skip all this crap. I think I'm going to go straight through most of this game. I'm not going to dilly dally too much. The altar should clear things up. I'm sorry. I know this is all a bit much considering what you. I think. Okay. <laughs> I just let Virgil talk to him and get the hell out of here. I should do I should set my alarm. Hello Joaquim is staying at the inn next to the bank. Good for him. All right, well, I guess we'll go um go do that story part here. Joaquim's room is at the end of the hall on the left. I think there's a note on the floor. Perhaps you should pick it up. I assume you are not alone. As you can see, there are people in Shrouded Hills looking for me. Luckily for me, these fellows were easily dispatched. Do not speak with anyone about the Zeppelin crash or your new companion's involvement with it. When you are able to make your way to the tr to Tarrant, check the telegram office. I will leave a message telling you where to contact me. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. So dropped, but it seems Joaquim has discovered something. These individuals seem to be part of some larger plot. A plot against you. He yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, someone who helped me out when I needed it. I met him in a small village at a Panari temple. I was, uh, a bit down on my luck. He showed me that you don't always have to take what luck... I'd rather not talk about it anymore. But Joachim is a great man. Well versed in the ways of the Panari, and also in the ways of the world. If he thinks we're in trouble, then we are. Let's get out of here and get to Tarant. All right, no problem. 
a Tarant. That sounds like a good suggestion. Now, you do need one of these amulets, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm going to plop it on Virgil there. Virgil's, this is a, one, another one of the annoying things about this game. Your partner, or partners will randomly run around and pick up stuff on the floor. Even worthless stuff that just takes up space, and he's already done that for two items right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take those from him and throw them away. <clears throat> you can hire that guy, but you need nine charisma, and I don't have nine charisma. I have four charisma. Let's junk that stuff. I'm going to see if I can sell some of this crap. Let's barter. Uh, get rid of some of this junk. That'll do. Okay, so let's put this... This right there. Just in case of a random crash, I'm going to save here. Gonna need this. <clears throat> okay. Kick this guy's ass here. He's part of a quest. Whoa, boy. Am I getting my ass kicked? I am getting my ass kicked. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> All right, cool. Jeez. Come on. Hold on. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, now we got to wreck this thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my weapons off. Just hope those damn rats don't come in here and kick my ass. I don't think they can open doors, though. Okie dokie. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Alright. <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk to this one guy. We got we did his little quest, so just talk to him and get the reward real quick. He has another quest to do, but that requires me to move to another town, and I don't feel like doing that right now. Mind your own business. Get the hell out of my face. Okay, so um, I'm going to do another quest here. This is a really easy one. But you got to be careful because sometimes you can screw this quest up, make the whole town mad at you.
Let's go ahead and save it, because sometimes this can go horribly wrong. If Virgil gets a critical miss and accidentally hits the wrong guy, then he'd be in real trouble. Okay, th thankfully that didn't happen. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and loot the bodies here. Oh, pfft. I forgot to give him back his weapon, too. Even I don't have my weapon. There we go. Just loot these bodies for whatever we can get off of them. These, these things sell for a little bit. Now, you can use kind of a cheap method of getting gold. You can go uh, into one of those shops, steal the key, and, and loot their chest. But that's just a little bit too cheesy for my taste. I don't want to sit there and do that. That's kind of, you know, it's kind of cheap. <laughs> Even for me. Okay, no, that's not, that's not uh, something we want. We probably want to give him some better clothes, though. I'll give myself some better clothes, too. Okay, so that's done. Go sell some crap over here. Okay, now I got to get a couple more, a couple more haste potions here. I'm gonna live off haste potions for a while in this game. <clears throat> it's amazing what you can do with a couple of haste potions. Okay, she hasn't restocked yet. Oh, are these what they... Yep, that's what I think it is, but it's way too expensive. I'd like to get it, but it's too expensive. All right. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and we got to go to this spot over here and run ourselves through a little dungeon over here. Get a couple of items. I'm, I'm going to do a few minor quests in this town just to build up my levels just a little bit. And uh, maybe get a little money. and save just in case something horribly wrong happens. Okay, that's not a bad thing to get. I'm going to go down here first and get, get a boot that I need. Actually, I don't really need it. I can use something else. I could trade the camera, but I'm going to get the boot anyway. So I'm here. Oh, I can't get out of here, huh? Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Oh my god. Are you blind? What in God's... I, I mean, better luck next time. Where the hell is Virgil? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, yeah, you don't want to get backed into a corner like that. That's bad. Thankfully, Virgil saved my ass. He's very useful in the beginning. 
<clears throat> so you want, want to keep them around until you're sure of yourself. Curse dagger that's not even worth picking up. Sometimes you can find, um, was it a uh, special ore that you need for another quest? Oh, crap. Am I out of stamina potions? I am out of stamina potions, doggone it. No more goofing off for me, huh? Crud. That's bad. Can't rust in here either. Should have picked up more stamina potions. How much stamina do I... I don't have enough to get out of here, I don't think. here. Okay, so I should be able to get over there. There's a trap. Already got lockpicks. Wait a minute, no gears? What the hell? What the hell, man? Oh, there's the gears. Okay. And uh, an extra dynamite, which I really needed. Okay. <laughs> well, we kind of barely made it out of that situation. I'm just going to run out of here. I didn't bring enough stamina stuff, so... That was kind of a mistake there. But we did it! So who cares? And we got the gears and the dynamite. The dynamite's really useful. The gears you can do a quest with. Not a huge deal, but... Uh, there's a weird bug where you can't use that that uh, pathfinding on the the large map if you're poisoned. I, I don't understand it, but whatever. Any quests? There's one quest that I didn't do, but I can't because I don't have the right ingredients. Alright. Did that quest. Oh, that's right. I gotta go do the boot quest here. So I'm level... I'm level 2 now? Okay. Him about the ring. What do you want in return? Okay, that's pretty good. Is there anything to sell him? You know what? I actually didn't want to sell him that. doesn't need it. Okay. Actually, I kind of want to kill this guy. <laughs> um, I want to kill this guy. I want to go loot his crap.
Well, I don't really need to do that, do I? It's probably only got like 2,000 gold in there. Maybe I'll keep him around. It's good to sell junk too whenever I'm in this town. What is it that you want of me? Nothing. You're just in the way. Wanted to pick that thing up. Okay, it's time to get out of here now. So let's go ahead and get another little something. Make sure we have plenty of those. So we're going to get out of the town now. You have to beat these guys to get out of the town, I think. I think you may also be able to take the train. I'm not sure. Okay, so... We ready? I think we're ready. You can talk your way out of here if you have enough persuasion. But I don't have enough persuasion. <laughs> Get some. Okay. Oh, really? This is what I had the grenades for. This right here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, they're, they're back? They recovered from that pretty damn quick. Oh, there we go. This guy recovered way too quick. Come on, Virgil. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So we got him. He's practically a dead duck. There we Ah! Oh, <laughs> critical miss and he kills himself. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Let me give Virgil a couple of these rings here. There we go. And... Oh, this is a pretty good jacket. Oh, he has a better jacket. Okay, never mind. I need a better jacket. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and take this leather armor off these guys. By the way, if you want to get a big leather armor, this is probably the best place to get them. I got another guy in my way here. There we go. And there's something to do with the storyline there, but I don't need that right now. Okay, we're going to come back to the town here so I can get a, a level up here. I think we got I think we got a level up coming here when we tell the guy that we've solved his bridge problem. Nope, not quite. Nope. Oh well. That's all right. Oh, I gotta sell some of that junk. Every little bit counts, especially when you're not gonna use any cheesy exploits. So now we're going to Tarant, which is a place where I can do a lot of quests pretty easily. They're in their underwear.
Okay, here we go. Easy enough. You know what? Let me make sure I'm in... Nope, I'm not. There we go. Make sure I'm in turn-based mode for combat. I'll show you how to get get out of any combat in the random random combats that happen outside. Torgs are alter. We'll be visiting that as Finchley, so it's good to have on our map. Right, now there's a couple of things we can do here right off the bat. A couple of really easy quests that we can do. So we'll probably do them. Actually, we should probably just go get the dog. Well, first things first, let's go in here and get a keychain. Here we go. Um... That'd be nice, but I don't have enough money right now. Oh, I know what I need to do. Well, you know, maybe I should wait till I have the dog. I was going to go steal some money, but I'm going to wait till I have the dog. He can open that chest a lot easier. So, let's go here. Telegram for Virgil. Might as well go read this, advance the plot a little bit. I have discovered something interesting concerning our friends with the strange amulets. Stop. I am off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please. Sent by Elder yeah. I don't know what to make of it. It seems that he thinks it's very important to find out why these men are trying to kill you. Much more important than being here to protect you. It is blasted. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get so angry. I just don't have any idea what's going on here. All I know is that Joaquim showed me a better way, a new faith, and now I'm involved in something even I don't believe. What do you think? I think... I think... perhaps... Um, I don't think any of this stuff, actually. Ah, I'm no religious fanatic. So I think, think this whole story fool? is contrived. You think that all of this is just a coincidence? Perhaps a big misunderstanding? Why don't you just go ahead and tell that to the next man that comes to cut your bloody throat? Want to know what I think? I'd say there's nothing more contrived than a dead fool. Oh! Virgil! I think I've had enough of you. No, well, let's keep yes. him around. There is a particular wisdom in your words. <laughs> <laughs> and crying about this prophecy gibberish isn't going to keep a knife out of your ribs. I'll shut up for a while That's and a good we'll concentrate suggestion. on that ring. If we find the owner, maybe we'll find out why those bloody assassins want it so badly. Yeah. Right. Listen, Tarant is a big city, and a man needs to watch what he does and who he talks to. Believe me, I know a lot about surviving in places like this. This and worse. Just keep one eye always open. And one hand always on your weapon. You can't trust strangers, and sometimes not even your friends. I used to... Uh, I used to... Well, that was another time. I, I know my way around. Just be on your guard and I'll... Been be around the block, huh, about. Virgil? No, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... There's so much I have to learn. Joaquim says the free man is defined by what he does today. I look no more behind me. Yes, let's, uh, let's keep moving forward. Yeah, okay. All right, so Virgil has a very shitty past. Probably a male prostitute, for all I know. <laughs> the way he talks. Okay, so um, there's an easy way to get 500 gold up here. I think I'm going to go for the dog in a minute. Just go get my money and go for the dog. Well, let's go get. Let's go open up this quest. She wants me to go get a uh, crystal ball for her, and no reason I shouldn't just go up there and do that now. This guy will give me 500 gold just for telling my story. Okay. Then there's this guy up here. And that 
is the note that I got at the blimp crash way so long ago. And let's go to... Yeah, let's just go to Ashbury. I'm going to go get that dog. Make my life easier. Of course, once you get the dog, you can't go on the train again. So this is our last train ride for a while. Probably forever. But it's worth it. Level am I at? Three? Okay. Get the hell off him, son. Where are you kicking that dog? What did he do to deserve your treatment? See no, no. Must have been hungry. I think you better get the hell out of here. Alright. We got the dog. Let's go ahead and rest. That way his stamina is full. This guy's got some important stuff. There we go. That's nice. It's a nice thing to have. Go ahead and put that copper ring on. Give Virgil this. This is uh, something I'm going to use later, but right now there's no reason to keep it in my inventory. This guy, you can usually kill him without any trouble. Just got to worry about those guards. Especially since I have the dog. Let me wait till the guard goes away. He has some pretty good items, too. Uh-oh. That's bad. Shoot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Crap. Okay. The uh <laughs> the elemental went away was the idea there. Okay, he's dead. All right. Shoot, man. He summoned that Elemental, which was okay, which is a bad thing. And I got, I got a scroll of call elemental out of that, which was a pretty good deal, and some money. So the only problem is my guys are poisoned here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go do some more cheesy stuff here. Wait a minute, are there any guards around here? Let me look. If you do this when a guard's a little bit too close, they'll come after you. Doesn't look to me like anybody's here, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> Divining staff, unidentified robe. Yeah, 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 okay. So, let's go ahead and... The dog can really bash this stuff down pretty quick. This is where having a large party comes in um, has has a problem here. Is that you can't really move through your party. See, so if you have a huge party, they're gonna block you all the time. That's a big flaw in this game, in my opinion. All right, just kind of pick up everything. Heck yeah, that's a lot of money. Woohoo! Free stuff. I don't 
don't have a problem with killing shopkeepers to get a little loot. So I don't think that's too cheesy, quite frankly. I think that's acceptable. What is my what is my encumbrance light? Okay. Alright, so um, there's another item I want to get for later. I might as well get it now while I'm here. You can recruit this guy, but quite frankly, two party members are more than enough. Okay, so we're just going to go run... Oh, wait a minute. You know what I need? I need an exit scroll. Do I have an exit scroll? I should have an exit scroll somewhere in here. Yes, I do. Okay, so I I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> I don't want to have to run back through here. The hell, man. There we go. The very last part of this dungeon, there's an item that I want. I think I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? Sometimes I wonder. Seems like it's taking a little longer than... Oh, here it is, yeah. We're going the right way. Pretty sure. You know what? I better drink a few of these. There we go. Somewhere up here is the chest that I want. I think this is it. Well, that's not it. Where the hell is it? Oh, did I go the wrong way? I might have gone the wrong way. Oh, that's a gym you're supposed to get. Okay, I did go the wrong way. I went the wrong way big time. You know, I might even be in the wrong place. <laughs> I think I might even be in the wrong place. Wait a minute. That's the place that I wanted to go. Okay. God, I got totally confused there. Duh! Oh, well, I got something out of that. I'm going to stay in this turn-based mode because I don't want to I don't want my haste to wear off. No, we're going the wrong way. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. Pretty sure this is where I want to go. Just got to be careful. These guys are kind of dangerous. Okay, I think it's up here. I think that's it. Well, that was something. <laughs> oh, jammed. Oh, what the hell? I don't remember it being this hard. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a little while, so... Okay, this is locked. I should have the key to that, though. 
right? Okay, mm hmm, do I have an exit scroll? I do, I can get out of here. <clears throat> okay, so... Let me just try and bash this door down. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not good. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I forgot. I, f I usually don't get the that one helm this way, so I, I actually forgot where to go. Or how to get there. So we're gonna skip that for now. But I did give I get a quest item here. In fact, I think I can cash that in. Where'd it go? Maybe I didn't pick it up. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. I think I could cash that in. What do you want? Hmm, my name... I'm tending to my own business. That's what I... I think you heard me just fine, my good man. Now, unless you plan on becoming less of an annoyance, I... <laughs> <laughs> Mine? <laughs> My kind of dude. Oh, the usual, raised in Caledon, schooled in Tarant. Oh, I dabbled in the necromantic arts, mainly on the dark. <laughs> well, just between you and I, there's quite a f Yes, yes, yes. And so, and so, I w Yes. Okay, hmm. I think I should get yes, quest points for this. Really? I'm very... Thank you so much. Yeah. Good not as many you. as I thought, though. All right. Well, that's um, that's that, I guess. Okay, so we have a, another couple of things to do over here that are fairly easy and give really good rewards, too. This would be one. But you got to be kind of careful on this one. My haste ran out, too. Ugh. Whoa, boy! Don't kill him, you bastard. Don't kill him. Oh, crud. You know what? Oh, man. Baloney. I can't get in that trap door till I kill this guy. I've been seriously hurt. Nah. Okay, that didn't work out. Let me see here. What can I do? We could call an arrow elemental, but I really want to sell that scroll. I don't want to have to use it. I don't think I could sneak in there, can I? I think you actually have to kill this guy. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, never mind. I can't sneak in here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sneak in here. Ha ha! Oh, crud. Don't have enough room. Whoa, boy! Whoa, boy! Ah! Uh -huh. <sighs> Careful. And I'm gonna sneak up here. Okay, that's a big nasty monster, and you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess with that guy. Let me get, let me get far enough away here that I can in combat. All right, there. <laughs> it's called how to sneak, sneak around and go in places that you shouldn't be going in. He's missing a, 
Since something to bash people with here. Well, it's okay. That's really not his job anyway. His job is just to heal. Oh, there it is right there. I don't want to go in there and mess with that guy, though. Oh, yeah. Got to give that to him. This is for quest points here. And now, guess what I'm going to do? Oh, well, after the guard goes away, that is. I'm going to kill this guy. Because that's a pretty good armor, and it sells for a lot, at the very least. Okay, so I don't think any guards around here. No, 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 no. No, okay. So in that case, we're going to kill the hell out of that guy. Easy! Okay, so, and then the fool Virgil goes goes into death's... Ugh. Oh, shit, and he died. Hurt, sir. Please help me. Oh, God, you moron. Okay, well... Oh. Okay, well, all right. Oh, stupid Virgil. It's going to make me use a resurrection scroll on him, which I don't want to do, but oh well. You got to do it. If you got to do it, you got to do it. So, these sell for a lot, so I don't want to use them. But, sometimes you have to do it. There's nothing here, man. Uh, this is the plan for automaton. I'm never gonna... Well, maybe I can build one, I think. Can I? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's bad. Alright, let me see if I have anything that I can do. Okay, well, apparently um, a guard saw us do something bad, so kind of in trouble here. I don't have any stun grenades or anything, no. Oh boy! Keep my dog alive here. You bastard! <laughs> oh no! Are you blind? What in God's? I I mean, better luck next time. Oh Lord Almighty! Got to use another one of these things now. Well. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. Okay. That was a little messy. But we, um, we managed to do it, so. <laughs> I don't like having to use all those resurrection scrolls, but. Now let's get the hell out of here. Uh, what's so nice about having that dog character he's really overpowered he could practically kill anything
Okay, finally. I don't want to be here at night because there's a lot of random encounters you have to deal with at night. So, let's go ahead and warp our way over here so we can sell our crap. Now that we have dog, we can do a lot more quests. I'm doing this because my movement is slow, so I'm. This is a quicker way of getting across the map. I was thinking of giving that to Virgil, but you know what? I don't think so. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is where you really cash in right here. Okay, he doesn't have enough money. Let's go ahead and refresh that then. Selling those Divine Scrolls is, is really lucrative. And they're really... You can't really use them for anything anyway. They don't actually work for some reason. Mm. I don't need that Call ele Elemental Scroll, so I'm going to sell that too. Probably want to identify that stuff before I sell it. I probably don't want to sell these. These are useful. I'm going to need to identify that first. Same with this. Okay, so that's that's that should be it. I had him train me in repair. Probably want to get an expert in repair at some point, but not right now. Okay, so we're going to do down here and do a little bit more leveling. What are we, level four? I know a way to get some easy stuff here. Well, let's do this first. Wait a minute, I don't... I don't want to do this yet. Let me go down here first. Okay, this guy wants to pay me to get clean up his warehouse. Where are my companions, man? They got stuck somewhere. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is a good place to store stuff. If you want. This crap. Some of this stuff isn't even worth selling. Oh, yeah. Kangaroo rats. Okay, that should be that. That gives pretty big quest points, experience points. Oh, really? Well, we 
we missed one. Where is he? Oh, there he is in the corner. There we go. Now we got it. Yeah, that was a big experience point jump right there. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go down here and uh, meet with the shady lady. Restock some potions, I think. Um, that's too much. What I really want are these. Oh yeah, she needs to identify some of this stuff. Looks like, oh, well, that's... Yeah. Really? Calls three zombies. I wonder if they attack you. Hey, that's not bad. Virgil could probably... Actually, I could probably use that. Reminds me, I need to sell some of this stuff. She doesn't want to buy this. Okay. Oh, one more, one more item here. Let's identify this. Ah. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip that. Anything else? Nothing here right now. So we're going to go ahead and advance time a little bit. I want to buy a couple of these haste potions. And maybe, just maybe, she might have something else I want. Ah, mage staff. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that one. I think we'll go for that one. We won't be using it yet, but eventually. Oh yeah, we need the intellect potions too. This is a good thing to have on hand too. Those aren't bad either. This is an interesting item, but it's too expensive. It's another item that she stocks that I need for um, the Ancient Gods quest. Hmm. That arcane stuff is kind of rare. I can't afford it, though, is the problem. Five potions of haste. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for another one. Oh, another mage staff. All right, well, that should do it. What am I left with? Ooh, I spent a lot of money there. That's all right, that's all right. Let's go sell some junk over here. I still gotta 
stuff I could probably sell for a little bit. It's not that much. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah. Alright, unencumbered myself a little bit too. Okay, well, I gotta go over here. We need some items. There's an item in here that's a pretty good thing to have. You gotta watch out for this guy though. He can sometimes summon a fire elemental. And you wanna be careful about that. Uh oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. You want to be careful about that. Alright, now he did it again, but that's okay. We killed him before it could cause any damage. Okay, this amulet is very helpful. And I won't get better than this for a while, so that ups my charisma by one, beauty by two. I have several things to do over here. Let's start right here. Okay, that was um, commissioning a tombstone for that one guy's wife that died. And I gave him a note way back when. Okay, so this guy... Oh, that's an hour. 